Hey guys, it's Brianna. It's Veda Day 8 and I didn't want to be like all cryptic about what was going on in my life the last couple of days and why I missed... I can't... <laughs> so I tried to do a top knot or a messy bun or whatever the heck you call it when you just don't want to do your hair and now I feel like I look ridiculous. <laughs> and then <laughs> I tried to look at a YouTube tutorial on how to do like a messy bun or whatever. Do you guys know that some people spend like 15-20 minutes doing a messy bun? And I'm like, no, no, the whole point of it is to not do anything with your hair instead of whatever. There are bigger things in life to worry about, right? So I didn't want to be all cryptic and like not tell you guys why I didn't do beta the last couple of days. Um, but so here's the thing. I'm not somebody that panics easily about medical stuff. And um, some of you guys know that my sister has been back in my life the last couple months and I moved her here to California and she's living with my mom now, which is great. Um, but so she had this sore in her mouth the last few weeks that wouldn't heal. She thought it was a canker sore and it kept getting bigger and now it's kind of a concern. And her dentist this past week, a few days ago, like on Tuesday or Wednesday, said you need to get it biopsied. And his um, assistant was saying the word cancer like to get a biopsy to check for cancer. And um, we don't have any answers. And so what happened was that of course freaked her out, which is totally natural. And what happens, you know, if you have, you know, two, three people that are emotional, somebody's gotta be the one to like make the calls and like do the thing, the next step that needs to happen because here's the thing guys we don't know anything like we don't have any answers it might have just been I don't know I don't know so I was the person making the calls and setting up the appointments and trying to get you know like relay that this is something that was concerning enough to the dentist that he said it need to be taken care of ASAP you guys know this is not a political discussion I'm not going to entertain any politics right now about this but in healthcare regardless if you have insurance or not or whatever your financial situation is sometimes things move very uh, slowly like much more slow than what you would want and that's what's happening so then I um, consulted with a friend that I used to volunteer at with a local hi babies what right guys yeah what'd you get Wow, it looks rescue. Cool. That looks awesome. I'll be right there to play with you with that, okay? I, Daddy said it was it was $9 and then I bought it. Cool. Did Daddy front you the money on that one? Yeah. Our little boy has a budget. He helps with like dish, loading the dishwasher, putting away the dishes, the silverware, because he can reach that. And, um, Anyway, we're trying to teach him about budgeting and finances. He's four and a half, but still, I wish I would have known some stuff when I was younger. So, um, I'm not going to cut it out. That's my kid. I'm a mom. Deal with it. <laughs> um, so then, uh, you know, I took her to the ER in San Diego at UCSD La Jolla. Um, based on the advice that I got from someone so that if she did have something to worry about that she could get into their system and get the referral through like the best hospital almost I think in the country it's a research hospital so if you did have something to worry about if you did have cancer you want to go to the best right like regardless of where you're at so I drove her to San Diego and went to the ER with her she was growing up like crazy all of a sudden and I don't know if it was just nerves or what and they would not um, do anything more extensive than a CBC blood work they would not biopsy it in the ER they gave her some Zofran and prescription for antibiotics um, 
because she also has an ear infection that won't clear up. She has a history of MRSA a few years ago uh, that went into her mastoids in her neck. So like, there's a lot going on. Like she has this ear infection that won't clear up. She has a history of MRSA um, that hospitalized her for like a month a few years ago. Um, and then she has this crater in her mouth and a couple of other sores. So it was just like something is definitely wrong. We just don't know what. And then the ER doctor um, also suggested that we get a biopsy to check to see if it's malignant or not. Now I know that they are not making a diagnosis, but I begged him to do some more comprehensive blood work um, and he would not. And he just said, we'll refer her to um, the ENT and the head and neck surgeons here and the oncologist here to do the biopsy. And so we're waiting for that referral to go through because apparently the referral from the ER doctor is not enough. It's got to come from a primary care physician, which I think is total BS. That's just me. I think it's total BS. So is brother okay? Yeah. Does daddy have him? Yeah. Okay. I love you, Mom. Oh, I love you too. So, the issue is that we came back. They didn't do any IV fluids. The Zofran, she's not being able to keep it down. And it's been a couple of days now. And uh, I talked to my mom this morning, and she's still throwing up last night. And so I might just take her to the ER again because she's got to get some fluids. Like now we're going to deal with the dehydration issue and things are going to get worse. And now she's not able to take the antibiotics that they gave her. She's not keeping down the Zofran and it's just a hot mess. So, um, I don't know guys, I tried to look, you know, they took a picture. We went to an oral surgeon in San Diego, uh, on Friday. He wanted me to pay $500 cash to do a biopsy and he said that he would not look at it under the microscope and make a diagnosis right then, which is fine. I guess he's trying to see why I didn't have a good feeling about that guy. I didn't like him. I thought he was being a smart ass and um, he said it could be shingles in her mouth, which like does not even sound right. I've, you know, like WebMD and Google image and I can't find anything that looks like what she has. So. That's just where we're at. We don't know. Maybe it could be something simple. And I'm hoping that it is. I'm just praying for that to be the case. And maybe we're just all overreacting. I have no idea. But, I mean, if she gets dehydrated, it's downhill from there. You guys, you know, anybody that has experience with that kind of stuff, it's uh, she's got to get some IV fluids, basically, at this point. So, um, so that's where I was. And I'll keep doing videos. I'll keep you guys up to date if we learn anything. Um... So, all right, I'm going to get back to my kiddos and uh, just be advocates for yourself. Be advocates for the people that are around you. Make somebody listen, and that's kind of where I'm at. Is um, I have a heart for fighting for people. <laughs> so somebody's got to listen because you don't have two separate people that never met each other tell you this needs to be biopsy. Do you know what I mean? Like the word cancer was brought up by the ER doctor. Like, do they just bring that up out of nowhere if it's totally not? And like the part of me that runs away with this thought is like, um, this guy works at UCSD, which is the top, one of the top hospitals in the nation. He's gotta know what he's looking at, right? Because the questions that were asked are, you know, are you a smoker? No, but I used to be. Um, was this a wound? No. Like, I don't know. Anyways, guys. So, that's where I was. And that's, um, that's just where we're at. We don't have any answers. Until next week. So any of you guys that have gone through something like this, or maybe you've, maybe you didn't have cancer, maybe your family member didn't have cancer, but you were in that waiting period, it sucks. <laughs> it just, there's no other word for it. You know, uh, that's just, you know, that's where we're at. So 
I'm gonna uh, make some calls and just see kind of what the plan is for today. It's Saturday. I know we're not gonna get any answers today, but something's gotta give. Like, um, so hopefully early next week we should find out something. And um, I don't even know why I'm telling you guys about this, but I strive to live an authentic life, and life happens, and this is some real shit going down. <laughs> Or maybe it's nothing. I don't know. It's like one person makes you feel like you're panicking and then the other person makes you feel like, yeah, you really need to go see somebody like as soon as possible. And when somebody looks you in the eye and tells you that, um, you take them seriously. So we're taking it seriously and we're just kind of frustrated because, um, you know, it's just like that waiting process to get an appointment and get the biopsy and supposedly the biopsy will take time to come back. I don't know how people do this. So anyway, my heart goes out to you. I hope that none of you out there are going through anything like that. And um, if you have, I don't know, words of encouragement or uh, how to make the process go faster, um, or if any of you have some experience with oral cancer. I don't know. It, it doesn't look right. I can just tell by looking at the pictures. And I used to volunteer and write the newsletter for a local cancer organization. Um, they don't think the pictures look right. And so, I don't know. But then we went to that oral surgeon and he was like such an ass. Like, oh, it looks like shingles in your mouth. I was like, but then she would have like a ton of little sores, right? Like she wouldn't just have like one or two or three. One of the first signs of oral cancer is that you have a non-healing sore in your mouth for more than three weeks. And what we have is a non-healing sore in her mouth that keeps getting bigger for more than three weeks. I don't know, could be nothing. Could be something. We'll find out. We'll find out. So, that's where I was. Alright guys, I'll see you guys later. Oh, I feel like such a bummer. <laughs> Can we laugh about top knots again? I don't know, it is kind of cute except I kind of jacked it up over here. Like, I don't know what happened. Look. What happened? Whatever, that's the point of a messy bun. Right? It's just you're supposed to be like, oh, it's messed up and I don't care. Deal with it. <laughs> All right, Warriors, I hope you're staying strong this weekend. Um, contact me. All my stuff is below or here or there somewhere. You know where to find me. I'm around. All right, I'm going to go hang out with the fam or maybe go to another ER. We'll see what happens. Bye, guys.